Hi, kitty cats. <clears throat> no, that's not working either. Get it together here. Get it together. All right. Hi, kitty cats. Today, I'm doing Masked Wednesday. And we're doing this hydrating sheet mask. Um, Starry Winter Nights Hydrating Cucumber Water. Brightening Australian Plum. The reason I'm doing this... Because winter is over. It's spring now. But I'm like... I need to do this mask that I've had hanging around and haven't done yet. So, and, uh, you know, it's the usual thing. Cleanse skin before use. Supply mask to face and smooth into place. Relax and allow mask to remain on face for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove mask and discard and trash. Use up to two times per week or as needed. Well, I haven't used it at all, so. So, we are going to put this on. Come on out. Come on out. Oh. It's got stars on it. <laughs> like, seriously, it does. Wow, this is really, really slimy. So, that means it's nice and juicy. The way we like it, right? Just hopefully not overly juicy. I will never forget that one that I just... I know some people were like, oh, we'd like that. And I'm like, more power to you. For me, not something I would want. Well, um, warning. If you don't like overly scented things, this might not be for you. Well, it is a very, very perfumey perfumey scent. Super perfumey. We're gonna... It's smoothed on pretty nicely. Um, <laughs> I look like I have a disease. Star measles or something. I don't know. Star chicken pox. Um, it feels nice. It just smells like really strongly of perfume so if you're somebody who can't howl sandal like really perfumey scents on your face and i like scented things but this is a very strong like perfumey like flowery perfume scent and i'm okay with it just it's strong um Okay, so let's keep this on for 15 minutes while we talk about life in general. Lighting is weird because of the time of day I'm doing this. I actually have my lights on, but um, I need curtains on these windows. I have for years, still haven't gotten it done, and because of that, the light shines in on me at weird angles and makes it weird. Um, depending on what time of the day it is, of course. So, and I hear the kids upstairs in the apartment above me. Like, I think she's doing vacuuming. This does not stick to your face that well. Like, it smooths on, but then afterwards it feels like it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Or maybe I talk too much. Don't talk while wearing this, apparently. Because it moves it around too much. So I was going to do a different video today. Um, but I didn't... I was going to do some makeup. I still have to do my Muppets makeup thing. My March one. And it's April now. I might end up doing both March and April together for the Muppets one. Ooh, a cat just... She's... She's having some trouble here. She's... There she goes. She's like, nope, not going that way. Um, so I might do both of those together, like March and April Muppets ones together, because I didn't get it done in March, and was thinking I'd do it today, but then I had a really busy kind of day and kind of grumpy day. Um, so not really a bad day. I just got really grumpy because... Uh, I'm way too nice to my ex-husband. And, um, 
he doesn't have a car on the road right now. He just bought a car, but he still has to like pay to get it on the road and he hasn't done that. And he just, he needs rides some sometimes. So I was like, we're going to Walmart today. So look at that. Like the lighting just completely changed in here. The sun is getting covered by clouds. But for some reason, this is not giving me as much light as it should be. I don't know. Anyways, sorry. I really need to get myself a ring light because the umbrella lights, one of them's kind of broken and yeah. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. So we took him to Walmart with us and he just, on the way there, he gets a phone call from his friend that I don't like. I really don't like this guy, like can't stand him. And I heard, you know, the end of the conversation that was my ex-husband and I'm going now, now, now. And I kept going like this, you know, like no. Cause I knew what was coming cause I could hear by, you know. And he's like, hold on, um, I'll ask or something like that. And then he's like, asking me and John if we can pick this guy up because he's broken down. And I was just like, no. I was like, I can't believe you even told him you'd ask. Like, why would you do that? You put me in a position where I'm an, I'm an asshole if I say no. And we are planning on going to Walmart. Like, I don't want to... Oh, it's on the way. I'm like, I do not want to be near this guy. That's how much I dislike this person. This person makes me angry. He's a horrible person. And I just don't want to be around him. There are many reasons I don't like them. him. One of them is because he sh he's cruel to animals. He is not nice. And I'm not talking about he's a hunter and he eats, you know, he eats his hunt. Not like that. No, he's cruel to, like animals that he had were in his care and did not give two flying fucks about it <laughs> okay so yeah i don't like this guy that just makes me incredibly angry and so i did not want him in the car and john is just he i think he just was like what are we gonna do like kind of it just so we end up slowing down and picking this guy up and the whole time the guy's complaining at like his bad day or something and I just like put on my I don't hear what's going on thing you know and just focused on playing Pokemon Go while in the car and it was just like John was driving like whatever and this guy is in the back seat complaining about his and I just wanted to scream at him, it's called karma, you jerk face. <laughs> like, you're horrible to not just animal honestly, I don't think he's a good human being to begin with. Um, there are other reasons that I want to get into, but he's not all that nice to people either. So it was just like he is sometimes nice to my ex-husband and my ex-husband so forth thinks that that makes him a friend um and that's how that goes what is going on outside oh speaking of my ex-husband he just showed up in my house and is outside yelling at my boyfriend or whatever they're outside doing stuff i don't know what but anyways whatever <laughs> that's I just got really angry. We dropped the guy off, went to Walmart, and then my ex-husband's like, oh, he's one of those guys that like doesn't put any gas into his gas tank until like he's out of gas. And I was like, are you kidding me? So this was his own fault. He wasn't really broken down. He just ran out of gas. Like, that's it. Like, this is his own fault that he, he was in this situation. Like. He does this all the time and I somehow am supposed to enable him to keep doing this to himself. Like, the guy has money too, by the way. He, he, he is not 
some, I mean, he's not rich, but he's not some poor dude either. Um, and I don't want to get into it. I really don't. I don't want to get into it. Just the person is not a good person. And I didn't want to be around him. And I definitely didn't want to be doing him a favor. And I like didn't, I just gave my ex-husband a nasty look when we got out of the car at Walmart. And he's like, what? And I was like, don't. You know what? And he's like, oh, I know. I shouldn't have done that. Blah, blah. It's like, yeah. Like, this isn't your car. This isn't your vehicle. You can't be telling your friends that you can, you know, take them places. You say, I can't help you out right now. Sorry, man. I can't. If I could, I would. If my car was on the road, I'd help you out. But it's not. Bye. Like, let him go call somebody else. If he, You know, like... Or, hey, possibly walk to a gas station and put some gas in a can and take it back. He wasn't even that far. Like, literally, he could have done that. It was all just really stupid. So, there. <laughs> Got all that out of my system. Then I was just like, I don't know. The whole being at Walmart after that just was annoying to me. I just didn't want to be there. I just wanted to go home and I was kind of hungry and then we went to Wendy's afterwards and when I prefer to go through the drive through I don't like going inside fast food places. I always feel like everybody's staring at me and are in a rush to like get through the line and John is the exact opposite. He feels comfortable inside but when we're in the drive through he feels like he's being rushed by other cars and he's very uncomfortable. So it's always like, we don't even usually eat fast food. I think because of this, it's just like, uh, both of us just, you know, we'd rather like go like order out or something or just go home and make food or go eat someplace where we're gonna sit down. We, we don't, but I was hungry. I wanted a chicken sandwich, which doesn't happen very often that I want like a chicken fried chicken sandwich type thing and um got that and then I got the chili cheese fries which by the way I never ate I brought them home heated them up my daughter came home from school and she complained that like lunch was crap today so I was like do you want these and she's like you went to Wendy's and I was like yeah and she was like yes I want those so I gave them to her so I only ate the chicken sandwich <laughs> which I forgot to ask them to put pickle on so I was sad about that anyway. So all of it was just like that. You know, like if you're craving something and you get it and it's not satisfying, it's just like, ugh, it's like the worst. Because it's like, this wasn't even really what I wanted. So it wasn't even that satisfaction, you know? Cat's just like walk, looking out the window. She doesn't really go out anymore. She's 17 years old. She's just like, I like to just look outside. <laughs> the others go outside, but she's just like, I'll just stare at the yard. Once in a while, once it gets warmer, she probably will a little bit, but both her and Jack, she's 17, he's 16. They're just kind of like, they go out in the yard and they like sit on the porch and that's about as far as they go. They're like, yeah, we're old. We just don't want to be dealing with stuff anymore. But, yeah, she's just staring out there. I think John's trying to clean up the yard. Um, he tries really hard to, like, do stuff that he used to do, even though he can't really do it as well because, you know, he loses balance and has to have the cane. But he keeps trying anyways, which I guess is good. It's good to keep trying. I've been doing better myself. Um, I'm on, like, a lot of steroids, though which soon they're going to be like slowly having me come down off of them. Hopefully by the time I'm done with this round, I will be on the new medication, the infusion medication. I'm really, really dying to try that. I talked to the nurse today. She said that they're just waiting for the rest of the blood test results and she's gonna call tomorrow um, to check on that because she should have gotten them all by now. I'm just praying. The last of the blood test results, they had a really hard time getting the blood out of me and they were concerned about it. And 
they have to do like a TB blood test every time you take certain types of medications. And so, and it takes like four tubes, but there has to be a little tiny amount of blood in each one. Like it has to be a specific amount. And the tubes, the things that, at least what the people were telling me that, you know, that uh, take it out, take the blood out. They were telling me that the tubes suck. These tubes have very little suction on them, so it's really hard to get blood out. Um, even with somebody who has good veins. And so it was really hard with me, and they ended up using like a syringe to get the blood out, and then use the syringe to put it in the tube. And one of them was like, is this gonna work? Like, are they gonna accept this blood? And the other one was like, yeah, it's fine. And I'm just like, please let everything have worked out okay, because I can't. My, <laughs> yeah. I'm like this all up and down where they were trying to get blood out of me. There was even at one point a little mark here, but it's disappeared finally. But yeah, I've got them all over the place from them trying to get blood out and I don't want to go through that again. I want, and, and it's really taking a long time for these bruises to go away. I just don't want to deal with that. Gosh, the sun, man, I'm sorry. I know this lighting's horrible. Seems everywhere I'm in the house lately, the lighting is just bad. I really need a ring light. I have I keep meaning to make one to buy, you know, a ring form. And I think I saw one at the Dollar Tree and I didn't get it. And I was like, why didn't I get that? And I know I'm really talkative. Um, so yeah, it's been about 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like a couple more and then we'll take this off. And then I think I might do a little bit of a lip scrubby. Um, and so on. So that's been my day. This is me just like talking. I know some of you really like it when I just talk about my day and others, you know, they pref prefer other things to be going on. Um, but today this is what you're getting. Uh, to, I'm gonna Friday I'm gonna have a recipe so it'll be foodie Friday I know it's been a couple weeks since we had a foodie Friday we are gonna have a foodie Friday this week and um, I'm gonna be filming some other stuff this weekend so that next week we can get back on track I'm trying really really hard to get back on track excuse me I've got to declutter most of my lipsticks I got to declutter my eyeshadow palettes and my nail polish, I need to get that all done during April so that we're finished with my declutter series. And um, then, what else do we have going on? I gotta do the Muppets video. I got to do the next Pokemon video um, with the Poke next Pokemon look. I've got some empties that I need to do. Like there's, there's stuff, plus I'm gonna have a haul because um, I ordered some things online. This month, because my no buy is over, I'm probably going to be going right back on one, like in a couple weeks, because I'm like, holy crap. Because um, after not being able to buy makeup, I was like, oh, I want this, this, this. And there was a lot of stuff that came out. Like, let me tell you, if I had the money, which I do not, I'd be buying that Game of Thrones collection. Like, I even told Yerman Decay to let me know when it's available, even though I can't pay for it. Like... It's $250 for the whole collection. It is not in my price range. Not at all. I mean, even if it was on sale at Ulta with points, I don't I still don't think I could buy something to that extent. Um, I'm hearing from talking to other YouTubers who have gotten it as PR that certain things are better than others. Um, I don't want to say too much though because you should go watch their videos about it. I think Cotton Tolly just had her video I think go up yesterday so you should go check out her stuff. Um, I'll try to put the link down below either to her channel or to that video. Um, and I saw that Rob Beauty Christy uh, had opened up her uh, collection on her Instagram stories so I'm sure she'll be making a video with that soon I'm sure of it 
I think uh, Jen Love may have gotten some too. I don't know if she's planning on doing a video or not, but um, I mean, it's a huge thing. It's a huge collection. And Game of Thrones is like less than two weeks away. I'm going to be going to a party to, you know, do Game of Thrones stuff. I do not know if I'll have any film from that party or not. Because it's my friend's party. I know she wouldn't mind, but I know some of the people that go might not be so crazy about, you know, me filming there. But we'll see what goes on. I might just film a Game of Thrones look. It's a possibility. We'll see what happens. Because um, I do have my Game of Thrones Wet n Wild collection stuff. Um, not all of it. I didn't keep all of it. But I did keep a lot of it. Um, I kept like all the lipsticks almost. And I kept this. The um, eyeshadow quad. This one. Which I don't know what it's called. Because like they put the names on the stickers. Instead of on the stuff but I've used this a few times too I really liked this one so we'll see uh, I've got so many eyeshadows that I want to use that I haven't used I'm like look at these pretty things anyways I'm gonna take this off because it is ready oh so we can get rid of that to dispose of it and then I'm just gonna rub the serum in some people pat it in. I like to rub it in. Get it all down the neck. Um, I actually, I do think my skin, it looks a bit red, but I think it looks nice. And once this all soaks in, I'm sure it's going to be really moisturizing. And I'm going to take some of this Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Pink Lemonade. I take a little bit of that. <laughs> and scrubby the lips. Mm. These are nice. Mm. And they're edible. I like it when lip scrubs are edible. It makes it a lot easier. That tastes really good. Like a tart lemonade. Okay. Um, my drill is I'm getting some of the serum in my mouth too. That's not good. Mom. I think I got all that. Because my lips have been really dry and messed up lately, so. And that did not make it into the empties basket. Ah, alright. Uh, remember to uh, remember to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And all that other jazz. Always remember to be kind. Even when they stabbed you on Game of Thrones. <laughs>